guys, I'm Liz the Yarn Goblin, and today I'll be crocheting a mushroom hat. I've wanted to make one for quite a while now, and after seeing so many awesome mushroom-inspired hats and headwear on the internet, ye old internet, I have decided it's time. Now, two things before we get started here. Um, obviously, I'm narrating this after the fact, so I have a bit of hindsight in terms of what went on with this project, what worked and didn't work. So for this pattern, for this project, I did not actually work off a pattern. This was improvised as I went, with only reference pictures of mushrooms to guide me. My second note is that while many mushroom hats are based off the classic Amanita muscaria, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't actually have any red yarn in my stash that will work for this project that hasn't already been allocated to other projects. So instead, I would I use this copper burnt orange colored yarn from Knit Picks Bravo line called Persimmon. I also use their off-white colorway called Cream of the same line for the spots. To start, I crocheted six half double crochets into what's called a magic ring or magic circle. I'll leave a link to a tutorial for this so you can learn it for yourself. Basically, it creates a tighter and more secure round than chaining six and crocheting into that first chain. From there, I began increasing and building the height of the piece until it could fit my head. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, it's coming along pretty nicely, I think. You can see it's more of a cone now. So I'm going to um, build it up a bit more. I'm hoping to get to 90 stitches around. That'll give me a width of a little over 21 inches. And then I'll be able to do a fitting. Um, and then I'll think I'll uh, stop it there for tonight and I'll do a part two for this video to fill out the brim and get the white spots on there. So I shall see you guys. Well, for you, it'll be in a bit. Um, for me, it'll be later tonight. All right. Okay, so it's a couple of days later. I have made some progress on the hat. Um, I forget if I showed you guys what I was trying to do with the increases, but I, I tried something, had to frog it, and then work out something else. Um, I'm kind of liking the shape it's taking so far. I have... I forget how many exactly. Maybe three... three or four more increase rows to do before I start the brim. Um, and then I think I'll have to... once I finish the brim, I'll have to end it there for part one and I'll pick up part two where I'll be making the spots to go on the mushroom and what I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, since the brim won't hold up on its own I'm fearing I'm gonna make a lining for it out of the same color as the spots <laughs> I'm just trying to look there's actually spots on there um, and then make a cardstock or cardboard ring to be sandwiched between the lining and the brim and that'll hopefully provide enough structure that'll stay up on its own and give it that classic mushroom cap shape so I will see you guys a bit later when I have made some more progress bye all right and the hat itself is done I still have to weave in the ends and add the spots but the shape is basic shape is complete. I didn't add too much of a brim because I liked the way it looked with just kind of a smaller brim. Let's see if you can see that so you can see how it would look on the front. Um, I thought it was going to end up being a little too. Uh, I don't know how. Best way I can put it is the dorky with the point, but it actually I actually like it so. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Alright, I'll see you in part two then when I'll add make when I make and add the spots.